Okay, I'm going to keep this as short as I can. Uh, to simplify things, I've already put uh, values uh, for concentration absorbance. These are not related to the actual value you do have for your stock solutions. Uh, just an example. So, you know, I plot the uh, you know, concentration dx, absorbance y. And so, as like I was telling you before, EB is your slope. So, uh, there's two ways to get the slope and the R squared value. One is just by doing the formula, and the other is by doing a plot uh, for best fit line. So I'll show you both methods really quickly here. Uh, so with these values, um, you can get the slope, which is EB, by entering the formula equals slope. And then you have you select the range of your Y values. All right, and then comma, range of your X values. And then enter. So that, that will be the slope. And to test the linearity, you do the other formula, which is equal RSQ for R squared, open parenthesis, select your Y values, comma, select your X values, enter. All right, so 0.99 is a very good linearity coefficient. So uh, anything above 0.95 shows a linear, linear trend. All right, so that's one way. Um, you'll see that we'll be in agreement with a plot. So for instance, what we'll do here is we'll select this go up to insert, scatter plot, and you want to just scatter them as, uh, you know, the, the points, data points, not a line. And so all the points show up here. Remember to, uh, you know, label your axes. And the quickest way to get a uh, plot this way, you just go add uh, trend line. It's linear. Uh, you don't need to set intercept. Um, actually, you'll have one data point, which is your blank where zero concentration equals zero absorbance. So that's the reason you wouldn't set an intercept. Uh, you want to display the equation, display R squared value on chart, and then close. And here we go. And so you could see that the slope, you know, is equal to uh, the way we calculated it. The R squared value is the same. It uses the exact same calculation for it. So it's just two different ways to do it. Um, this one's usually the graph easier to follow but you can also double check your data points uh, using the formula. And then so we have a nice best fit line and you can use this to calculate your unknown. Um, and that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. Uh, what is it?